Welcome to Desktop Linuxer. Today we will see how to install the latest version of MX Linux that is MX Linux 21 Wildflower. So for that we have to get the uh, ISO from uh, MX Linux to make a boot USB. From the boot USB we will install it. From the MX Linux website you can download the ISO of your choice because it offers few versions of it. Uh, there is a XFCE version, KDE version and Flexbox version. Uh, XFC is the flagship version we are using that in that uh, you get uh, 32 bit and uh, 64 bit versions so in uh, uh, if you are you can select the 64 bit version and you can download that ISO but if you have a very old computer you can go for the 32 bit version so uh, from here you can download it download the ISO and you can uh, use torrents also you can use uh, torrents to download the ISO so whichever uh, way uh, you are comfortable you can download once you download it you can burn it burn the ISO to a uh, bootable USB drive with uh, software with softwares like uh, Balena HO so for that uh, you, go, you have to go to the Balena site and download the software Balena HO I will recommend Balena HO so after downloading it uh, you can make a boot disk after installation of uh, HO you can open it once you open it, it will give you some options for installation like flash from file, flash from URL and clone drive. We are using the first option flash from file because we already uh, downloaded the ISO. So just uh, click on flash from file. Now select the ISO you just downloaded and uh, now you can select the target drive that is our USB drive. Uh, it will list the USB drives connected to your computer and here uh, our uh, 4GB disk is showing. Uh, you can uh, use uh, minimum 2GB. Uh, I think uh, you can use uh, more than 2GB. You need more than 2GB. Uh, take a 4GB drive minimum and uh, just click on flash. Once you click on flash, it will create the boot disk. After creating the boot disk, you have to boot uh, the computer from that disk. So you have to go to the BIOS and uh, select USB booting your computer will boot into the live desktop. Our live USB boots into this desktop. Uh, this is the default uh, uh, desktop of uh, MX Linux. In the top left hand corner, you can see an icon called installer. Uh, you will get the installer by clicking on it. You have to single click it, not double click. Uh, in MX Linux, everything works with single click. So you get the installer window. In that installer window, it will ask you about the keyboard you have the keyboard settings you need so uh, this is the default is uh, pc105 i'm having pc105 uh, so uh, uh, if you have a different kind of keyboard you can change it from the settings from here you can change it and uh, press next so it will give the installation option select the type of installation there are two types of installation one using the entire disk and uh, you have an option to customize the disk layout. If you select the first one, regular install using the entire disk, your entire disk will be used for the installation. It will automatically create every partitions, everything. And you don't have to do any work, but uh, it will erase the entire data of the disk and you cannot install another operating system. Uh, or if you already have some operating system on your hard disk, uh, you will not be able to install them. So I will choose the second option, customize the disk layout because my system, I already have few uh, operating systems. You can see uh, this is the partition option. This is the partition I am already having. So if you uh, have got three hard drives, uh, so in all the hard drives, there are some partitions. Uh, so we have to select one partition on which we have to install the Linux. Uh, we have to select a NTFS partition. If you don't have a partition, you have to delete some partition or uh, from a free space, you can create a new partition. There is a icon, uh, a hard disk icon there. Uh, okay, clicking on it, uh, you can uh, change the partitions. So I am selecting SDD6, which is 25 GB. So in that, uh, you will get three or uh, four options. Uh, option to format uh, and there is an option for uh, selecting the partition as root which is the installation partition or uh, you can uh, select it as a swap partition or home partition so ideally you have to uh, you have to use separate partitions for swap and home so i am already having separate partition so i am selecting this as the root partition so i am selecting it as root 
so now we will uh, click next there is an option for encrypting uh, the hard disk but i'm not doing it here so the linux will uh, mx linux installer will now perform requested action this actions cannot be undone you want to continue it will ask if you want to continue because uh, once you change the partitions you cannot get back to the earlier uh, means uh, previous stage so i am getting uh, a, a, this thing uh, like a smart disk test kind of things uh, i am ignoring it and i am continuing with my installation okay uh, so my installation has started uh, you can we can see the progress in the top bar uh it is copying the system now uh, we have an option to select the uh, grub bootloader uh, grub is used for uh, selecting uh, for boot options uh, when you boot the system you can select from windows and linux if you have got uh, many linux flavors and uh, windows on your uh, uh, laptop or uh, pc you can select in between them through uh, grub so there are three options here uh, we can install grub on mbr pbr uh, we can select the location, uh, location. and uh, i am selecting uh, uh, the system boot disk boot disk also we can select so i have selected a disk my hard disk i have selected now we have to give a name for the computer and computer domain we have to give and work group uh, which you can customize here and you can press next so here we can uh, change our country uh, and clock uh, everything we can customize here and uh, we need to give a we need to make a, a new user account so the default uses login name we have to put and the, the password for him password for the default users also we have to set here so i am creating a simple password uh, but uh, I uh, request you to make a good password, very nice, uncrackable password if you are uh, using it for a production system. And there is a root administrator uh, account also we can create here. So we are creating a root password here. And you have an option to auto login. If you click that option, uh, it will, uh, when you uh, boot the computer, it will auto login to the desktop. You don't have to uh, give the password and login and there is an option to save the uh, live desktop changes if you have made some changes in live desktop it can be uh, uh, you can uh, do it in the final thing so now the grub is installing now the installation is progressing uh, once it installs everything once it copies the files and uh, it set up the grub uh, it will ask you to reboot the system and once you reboot the system you will get into your uh, install system so thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe share and like this video thanks for watching once again good day